In today's fast-moving digital world, nearly every business relies on technology to keep things running smoothly. From paying employees to serving customers online, technology is at the heart of daily operations. But as we depend more on these systems, new risks appear, like cyber attacks, unauthorized access, or data mistakes that could cause big problems. That's why organizations use something called IT audit controls to help manage these risks. Now, there are two main types of IT audit controls you should know about, IT general controls, or ITGC, and IT application controls, or ITAC. Let's break them down so they're easy to understand. First, imagine you're building a house. The foundation is the most important part, right? Without a solid base, the whole house could crumble. That's exactly what ITGC is, the strong foundation for your entire IT environment. These controls work across all your systems, making sure everything stays safe and reliable. Some examples of ITGC include access management, making sure only the right people can get into critical systems. This could mean using passwords, role-based access, or even multi-factor authentication, where you need more than one way to prove it's really you. Change management, checking that every change to a system is tested, documented, and approved before it goes live. This helps prevent mistakes or unauthorized changes that could break things. Backup and recovery, protecting your data so it can be restored if there's a disaster, a cyber attack, or a system crash. And it's not just about having backups, but also regularly testing them to make sure they work when you need them. Now let's move from the foundation to the rooms inside the house. That's where IT application controls, or ITAC, come in. These controls focus on specific software and business processes. Think of big systems like SAP, Oracle, or even your bank's online platform. The goal of ITAC is to make sure the data inside these applications is correct, complete, and secure. Here are some examples. Input controls. These check data right at the point of entry. For example, if you try to enter the wrong format for a date or a credit card number, the system will reject it. Processing controls. These watch over the data as it moves through different steps. For instance, making sure the total on an invoice matches what's in a purchase order. Output controls. These verify that the final reports or dashboards you see are accurate before you use them to make decisions. So, to sum it up, ITGC is like the strong, secure foundation of your IT house. ITAC is like the locks and checks inside each room, making sure everything inside is accurate and protected. Together, ITGC and ITAC create a powerful system that keeps businesses running, helps them follow the law, and builds trust with customers and partners. Why is all this so important? Because laws like the Sarbanes-Oxley Act require strict IT controls for financial reporting, and rules like GDPR demand strong protections for personal data. If a business fails to comply, it could face huge fines, legal trouble, and lose the trust of everyone who counts on them. So remember, ITGC is your security foundation. ITAC is the accuracy inside your applications. Both are essential, and neither works well without the other.